14 years, our next guest has played Dr. Owen Hunt on the hit show Grey's Anatomy. Take a look. You're here. Yeah, you called when we came. Right, but I mean, I did call you three weeks ago. Oh, well, I couldn't work three weeks ago, but now I can. Sort of. Not sort of, I can. Well, he has to be supervised. You don't have to say it like that. Well, how do you want me to say it, Owen? You're very tan. Well, yeah. Because he's been serving every day with a 24-year-old named Stella while we've been paying out our entire life savings to a $1,700 an hour attorney. Yeah, and she's been drinking rosé angrily all day, but you don't see me criticizing her. So. Wow. <laughs> Please welcome Kevin McKinn! <laughs> I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me. How are you? Are you Wonderful. Okay? That was a great segment with those ghosts. Did you hunters. enjoy the ghosts? It was great. You yeah. were very scared. Did it scare you? <laughs> I was terrified. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a little scary <laughs> thing. Doesn't take much to scare me. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, you're originally from Scotland? I, I am. I Which am part? I'm from way, way up. There's no people. They're just sheep. <laughs> farms and fishermen. That's where I'm from. I'm from a place called Elgin, which is way, Elgin. way up in the north of Scotland. Huh. Yeah. Has your accent changed since you moved to LA? Well, I try and keep it, but you know, when I go home to Scotland, a lot of my family are just like, wait, what's happened to you? You've changed. You've changed, son. Yeah. You've changed. And I'm like, no, no, no. But when I go, you know, if I'm here and I go to Gelson's or I go to Trader Joe's, people are like, I'm sorry, what are you, what are you saying? I, I don't, I, what, do you, what do you want? So I find it hard to balance the two. So I definitely feel like my accent's somewhere in the middle now. It's in the middle? It's in the middle. Huh. Did you ever think you would become an actor growing up? I, you know, I, was, I always knew that I was a bit different, you know? Um, and um, when I was about eight years old, I went to see the movie E.T. You mm. know the movie E.T.? Yes. And I went to see that movie, and as a little boy, I just found it so... I just find it so emotional, you know? Uh -huh. And I remember I walked home with my dad, holding my dad's hand, and I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to cry in front of my dad. And I got home, my dad went off to the pub, as Scotsmen do in the 70s. <laughs> and um, as soon as the door closed, my mom was like, did you like the film? And I burst into tears, and I was like, it's so, so sad. It made you that emotional. went home, E.T. went home. And I laid in bed that night, and I just went, what? I didn't understand what acting was, or films, or, t you know. But I just remember as a boy going, I want to do that, whatever yes. that thing, that thing that made me feel that, yes. I want to pursue that. So I just kind of did school plays and just gradually, gradually over the years fell into it, you know? Okay, and you have four kids. How old are they? I have four kids, I do. I have a 22-year-old, a 20-year-old, a four-year-old, and a three-year-old. Yeah, I do. That's amazing. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. And how is it That's having... There. Yeah, I've, ha got, I've got two kids in college and two kids in diapers, as they say. <laughs> Two kids in college and two babies. So is it, like, how is it reliving it again, having two young ones now? And it's great. I mean, it's funny because the first time I was more worried about, you know, paying the gas bill and just yeah. you're making ends meet. And so it's definitely, I'm enjoying it a lot more the second time. Mm -hmm. I think you realise, I think you realise when you're older that those young years when they're really wee, yeah. as they say in Scotland, when you're really wee. Really wee. <laughs> really wee. <laughs> It goes so fast. It does. Those years go so fast. So I really appreciate it this time, you know, because the first time I was like, when are they going to get bigger? When yeah. are they going to... But you realize that you should So you're taking it all in now? Yeah, I'm taking it all in. Yeah. Differently. And you've been doing Grey's Anatomy for 14 years. Yes, I have. <laughs> and, you, and then I heard... That's amazing. But I heard you still haven't decorated your trailer. Why not? <laughs> But I, I've got this superstition that if I get too comfortable, like some, some of the actors in the show, they've, they've decorated, they've had like, you know, they've swept feng shui their trailers, mm -hmm. they've painted them, they've moved all the stuff in. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this thing, superstitious thing, if like, if I get too comfortable, you know, if I suddenly move all this you stuff in, it. I'm going to get fired. So, oh. <laughs> so I've literally got like one throw pillow and a sleeping bag <laughs> in, my, in my trailer for 14 years. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Okay, and then you have a crush on your co-star. Please tell me about, about that. About this, this you don't want to talk no, about it? No, it's fine. You got to tell it's me fine. something. I, used to, I listen, want to hear this. The other reason I wanted to become an actor when I was a kid was watching the TV show Fame. I'm sure you all remember <laughs> Fame. And I, there she is. And I used to sit She's in my beautiful. bedroom with a little black and white TV and watch Fame and just think, wow. And there was this, the lead choreographer was... Yes. Miss Debbie Allen. Debbie Allen. And I had a big crush. And now I work with Debbie Allen. She's our main producer. So 
I never told her you for years. You didn't tell her? For have, years that I had a crush on her. Do you think you ever will tell her? I think I'm telling her right now. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Debbie Allen, he has a crush. <laughs> you heard it here first. You hear that? Okay. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy airs Thursday at 9 on ABC. We'll be right back. You're totally your